Is this trunk? Um, yeah. yeah. You do gym bag in the trunk and then the, the other stuff in the... Yeah. Oh, you got Holy shit. My car got fucked up and also the fucking kilos. All right guys, so it's super bright outside. We are currently going back to New York. We're gonna be training with some people tomorrow. Um, we got Gavin Aiden, Anthony McNaughton, um, you know, some, some legends in the game, some G's in the game. Um, and yeah, so we got we got second week of the block. It's Carolyn's last week of the block. She's got a really fucking heavy day tomorrow. She's gonna ball out. Se second week of the block for me. Um, got some good numbers taken tomorrow. Like even, even for the second week of the block, bench is getting up there and I'm happy bench is returning back to strength. But feeling really strong, but um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Squat, squats finally returned. Deadlifts. Um, my best ever deadlifts. You know, I would push my secondary day as well. So I'm gonna make sure, like, since deadlifts are on, and I felt insane on Wednesday, I'm gonna push it a little bit tomorrow. Nothing crazy. It's still gonna be RP six, but um, last week was two twenty. I'm gonna push this week to probably two thirty five. Um, you know, probably 232 to 235 for a set of four paws or a set of three paws. It's set of three, so I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push this block. Um, yeah, if I could push it to, if I could push, you know, 220, 235, then 250, then 265, that'd be ideal for the block. Hitting a 265 for a set of three paws, really ideal. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for this block, excited for these freaks, and excited for back to New York. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna go to Chipotle real quick, grab some grub, and then head home. And yeah. And then once I get inside here, it's super dark. <laughs> Yeah, Are you exciting. excited for this weekend? Very excited. Very excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at Iron Bowl. It's around 1.30. We got SBD. Big day. She's got a really big day. I do have a really big day. She's a, she has a really big day. Oh. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I got squat. Yeah, SBD. She has SBD. I got singles week two. We're gonna do some big stuff today. Yeah. all in your mind. Whatever you hold in your mind will tend to occur in your life. If you continue to believe as you have always believed, you will continue to act as you have always acted. You will continue to get what you have always gotten. If you want different results in your life or your work, all you have to do is change your mind. All right, guys. So it is currently Monday. Let's see if I could just. Say. I don't know if that's gonna. Okay, well, if I. Oh no, I have a. Okay, this is perfect. Oh my god. Oh. Music is gonna get going here in a second. Soft core neighborhood is so fucking off. Um. So for the weekend recap, we get so it's Monday. Um. I'm not sure if this clip is going to be in that video or a, like this next video because I, I'm not really too sure but I didn't film as much as <laughs> I really didn't film as much as I'd like to um, you know I had a good session 
Um, and I had a decent session. Squats and deadlift went great. Bench, pec started acting up, and I was not warmed up, and I was not focused on bench because I was just talking to a lot of people. So bench was not the greatest, but we had a good session. We talked to a lot of people. Um, yeah, it was like a, it, we, were, we were talking a lot during the session. I I made sure to get the squats done because that was like the main focus. And then deads were phenomenal too, even on like the iron wall platforms. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna take that session. Um, but yeah, we talked, we gained, gained some good information, gained some good knowledge. I love talking to Gavin. Like he, out of all the people I talked to, he's one of my favorite persons to talk to. Um, we also went to dinner with Delaney, Sierra, Justin, and Carolyn. Those are great times. But out of the people I love talking to, it's always Gavin. Because he always had, he always had, <laughs> he always has something to say that I always like resonate with, and it's always something different, and it's just like, dude, this man just thinks of like the greatest things ever, like uh, motivation. It's always about lifting, or it's about something else. But like, he just always knows what to say. He's a funny guy. Um, he's a very personal, personable person, and I just love talking to him. Just like one of my genuinely favorite persons to talk to, and I'm glad I get to you know see him. And we're gonna be making trips to war room gym in mm, I'm not sure exactly when but maybe during the week leading into junior nats okay I think it's fucking yeah oh, this guy's got fucking walk I wanna hit this guy but yeah we're gonna be making trips to the war room which is the gym oh that's fuck yep alright thank god my lens did not crack I have my fucking hazards on. That's what I was scared of happening. All right, so fuck, that was bad. <laughs> fucking thing just completely fell. But yeah, we're gonna be making trips to the war room. Um, definitely after nationals, junior nationals, more. But um, yeah, Iron Bolt and other gyms this summer. It's gonna be awesome. War room, gonna be there with Gavin. But yeah, no, we had a great time on Saturday. And then we went to dinner with Delaney to his place. Um, and it was fucking packed in there. It started raining and yeah, the service was not the best and like the food was decent. It was okay. But yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a shit show in there, but it was, it was a good time. Um, but yeah, no, we had a good time this weekend and then Sunday was my Easter and I celebrated that with my family and Carolyn. So that was good. And yeah, we're, you know, we're having a good, we're having a fucking genuinely good fucking time. The only thing that sucks about today is the fucking weather. It just fucking got 20 degrees colder and I was like, I'm in shorts and I'm in a shirt and I was running to the grocery store to pick up some yogurt fair life and some deodorant and it was fucking freezing so yeah um weight is pretty fucking stagnant right now and it's right now it's 191.2 the weekend um i didn't track most of the weekend but i didn't feel like i had a lot of calories but i was pretty heavy so um i'm gonna be switching i'm gonna be having i'm gonna be intaking more protein and trying to lower fat a little bit um, because I'm only eating 2,500 calories, which I think is not a lot. So if that's not working, I'm gonna have to start lowering it, it, you know, a bit. And I just have to take my weekends more seriously because that's where it gets me. And I'll be like, oh, I'm, you know, like 33,000 or 3,400 and, you know, I won't notice. And I, I don't track because, you know, we're traveling and stuff like that. So, you know, we drove home four hours to New York and, you know, you don't want to cook food. So you gotta do a better job on the weekends. That's really the thing. Main th during the week, it's beautiful. It's easy. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's cooking. I'm cooking food. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm drinking this for lunch because I just don't want to cook food. I could, but I just, I, I don't. So I just have my breakfast. I have this before the gym, um, a pre-workout snack, the gym, do some cardio at the gym. And then I have dinner, beef and rice. Um, and I really enjoy it. And I've been feeling really good on it. So I'm going to do that. And I feel like having a high protein diet for me just works better. Um, Delaney, you know, said he, just works on 30 grams of fat, which for me personally, I can't work on 30 grams of fat. I have to have at least 60, 70 grams of fat to work on. I haven't tried it, but you know, I just know it won't work for me personally. For my carbs, I don't need as much carbs as some people do. Carbs is not, first, personally for me, I don't know why, carbs just don't fuel me as much as other things do, like protein, um, more like protein. I think protein fuels me the most. So the higher protein I have, the better I feel, the more full I feel, and fuck. And I don't know, I just feel fucking great on fucking protein. Um, yeah, I just feel really good on protein. So, um, I just, I'm going to intake my, up my protein. I'm having two yogurts, um, in the morning now instead of one. So that's literally bumping it from 25 grams of protein plus the bacon to now 50 grams of protein plus the bacon. So my morning breakfast is a little bit more, it's 170 more calories, but I'm getting 25 more grams of protein just like that. So I'm having two yogurts fucking, it's just, it just smacks. Um, 
this is around 78 grams and then dinner is around um i'm switching to i found finally found 97 or 97 3 or 98 2 i think 97 3 ground beef which is even better leaner beautiful for me the ground beef 93 7 97 3 93 percent fat 97 percent uh fuck 93 percent protein 97% fat and 97% protein, 3% fat. It doesn't taste any difference to me. And I, whatever, the leaner, the better, honestly. So that's good because it's less calories, a little bit less calories and more protein. So cool with that. So today should be a great protein day. And we're just going to keep it consistent for the rest of the week and just see how weight's doing. And, you know, I mean, the gym, like all it leads to is the, the, the um, how I'm feeling in the gym. And I'm feeling the best I ever have in the gym. I'm feeling the most confident I ever have in the gym. So that's all that matters. But yeah, I don't want to talk for too long because... I've been talking, I mean, I want to talk to you guys, but just like, I don't want to talk for too long because my last video is 38 minutes. So, or the one I just posted, you know, so I'm going to go inside, drink this. I am going to edit a YouTube video right now. Um, so I could just keep pumping up videos and I'm just trying to post that, just post quantity. I'm not like my quality is okay. Okay. And I told you guys, I film this all myself. So it's going to be hard to do like quality ass videos, but I try to record on my Sony. I try to record on my good camera. So, you know, that's basically what I'm doing, but, um, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, protein's gonna be high as fuck. I'm feeling good for the gym. Um, well, eat this, shower. I have like a whole routine I do before the gym, so I make I'm you know I feel great. Um, we're turning the rack around today, and then we're doing today. I mean, I already have the number. We're doing 485 for five on squat. You know, it's gonna be easy as fuck. It's gonna be easy peasy. But you know, we have the progress: 200, 210, 220, and 230 on the Mondays, and then the weekends will be. What I want to hit is um, 265 on this upcoming weekend because I'm jumping 12 and a half kg, and I know the next. Um, fuck the next uh week it might not be a 12 and a half kg jump it might be a i'm gonna take a seven and a half to 10 12 if i'm feeling really good but um i want to move that 277 and a half that i'm taking in a few weeks like i moved 277 and a half before i took 288 um and that was a week before so i'm like getting ready for that and like i'm not like i said before i'm not i'm trying to be smart in training but I'm going all in every every single training session, and I'm I'm building myself up nicely. It's not like I'm fucking maxing out every single day. But I was talking to Gavin, and he was just like, you know, you gotta you gotta build yourself up nicely and have someone to you know like oh put you on the right track. But like, dude, you gotta just go fucking all in every single training session. Like, you, this might be your last training session, and I I live by that now. I'm just like, dude, this you're fucking right. Like, this literally might be my last training session. So I'm leading, I'm building myself up nicely, but I'm not fucking taking the low end numbers on those heavy days. Like I'm just not doing that anymore. And I'm making myself feel as good as possible so I could fucking take the highest end numbers. So, you know, these last two weeks of the Saturdays, we want to go 584 and then, um, 606 to 611 and then next block, <laughs> next block. Oh, we're going big, baby. We're going big. I mean, I know what squat I have to hit before before what I want to take at juniors, and I'm like, bro, I've hit that already. All I have to do is just move that fast. Like, it's actually insane. Like, the squat I want to take at juniors, I'm just like, dude, I just got to hit this number, make it move good, and then I have the number that I want in the bag. Um, so I'm, I'm, like, excited. I'm fucking, like, this is good. Deadlift. We're going to take, so we took 255, 270. We're going to stick with 15 kg jumps. So we're going to go 285 and 300 for the next two weeks. And then after that, we recycle. Um, for deadlifts, my plan is to feel confident going into the meet. So I'm going to hit a good number going to the meet, but I want my deadlift to peak like a motherfucker. And that's how it usually does. And that's just how I want to feel. I got to feel, I, I've i trialed what works and f failing before going into the session, going into the meet does not work for me. Um, I failed 320 and then 310 going into open nationals. Granted, everything happened. And I think I could have hit 305. Or I, I fucking failed 297 and a half. But I think I could have hit 305 that day if I, felt, if I was feeling good. So I know going to this meet, I could pull, you know, if I pull 305 to 310, moving really good, like it moves really good. And I, that's my last pull because I pulled 295 really good. And then I went for 320. I'm fucking retarded. Should have went for 310. I would have had 310. It would have moved, eh. But, um, you know, it still would have gotten it. I would have had better confidence going to the meet. This meet, I know I'm not going to overshoot on deadlifts. I'm going to take a deadlift that's uh, and my grip because that's the biggest thing. Um, and that's why I'm working on it. But I'm going to take a deadlift that's not overshooting. So I'm going to take anywhere from 305 to 310, my last deadlift. Um, because I'm, I'm going to assume I got stronger. Um, and yeah, into the meet, we're going to pull 310 plus. And that's going to be hopefully to the 320 range because that's what we need to pull. Um, but yeah, I'm really focusing on my deadlift. Deadlift's feeling really good. Bench. Bench is just going, it's just progressing. So we're going to see how bench feels today because Saturday was a little eh. So yeah, let's get inside. <laughs> 